First visited in 1987 by Jacques Cousteau, the Coco Islands off the coast of Costa Rica has historically been a major stopping point for pirates since the 1600s. Today, the Coco Islands remains the largest uninhabited island in the world, surrounded by steep and dangerous cliffs. No matter how many doubloons lay hidden within the island, the real treasure of the Coco Islands lay beneath its waters, where the marine life is simply astounding. Schools of hundreds of hammerheads make their way to the Coco Islands, seeking the many cleaning stations where barber and other fish pick parasites from their skins. Also ubiquitous to the Isle of the Cocos are the many hundreds if not thousands of white-tipped reef sharks that patrol the volcanic seamounts. Primarily nocturnal feeders, the white-tipped sharks provide exhilarating night dives as they forage in packs in search of food. Silvertip sharks also frequent the Cocos at the aptly named dive site Silverado a raised underwater platform that provides them with their own cleaning stations. Titanic schools of jacks can also be found at the Cocos Islands. Often these schools are so massive that seeing through them to the water beyond is an impossibility. In August 2008, for the first time in the memory of both island rangers and longtime dive masters, tiger sharks made an up close and personal appearance. Patrolling in shallow waters, the tigers weaved in and out amongst the startled divers. For two days, the five tiger sharks delighted divers, never showing any menace. No chum or artificial shark feeding was ever employed, yet here they were. Only time will determine whether the tiger sharks will join the myriad species of shark populations that make the Cocoa Islands so deserving of being declared a World Heritage Site. There's another side to the Cocoa Islands, a darker side. Fishing fleets from Mexico, Asia, and other countries attracted to the large number of tuna, mantas, and shark populations come to the islands in order to meet the demand for shark fins and seafood. In order to stop the finning and the uh, fishing inside the uh, park uh, area, we have to change the law and we have to improve the uh, patrolling around the uh, area. Despite being declared a World Heritage Site, and contrary to Costa Rican law, the government does little to enforce these laws. However, with increased world awareness, hope springs eternal as the Cocoa Islands remains one of the top locations for divers from around the world to marvel at and enjoy. Mm -hmm.